Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Doug Maker, uh, resident of Charles County, speaking on behalf of the Maryland Building Industry Association. Um, the Maryland Building Industry Association um, has prepared deep, detailed comments on the revisions that have been proposed to the plan since the last public hearing, which we will submit for the record. Uh, my testimony this evening uh, will summarize our comments on two important points. In 2011, the land use market study and demand analysis was prepared for Charles County to support the comprehensive plan. Since then, the land supply available to meet future de demand has been significantly restricted by adoption of the tier maps, along with current proposals to replace the deferred development district with a watershed conservation district, down zone Brines Road, down zone stream valleys beyond the current resource protection zone, and reclassify tier three land as tier four. The cumulative effect of these changes coupled with the recent proposed reduction of the development district and subsequent down zoning would not retain a sufficient supply of developable land to meet future needs. The current boundaries of the development district should be retained to ensure an adequate supply of land is available to meet future demand. There are many factors that affect housing affordability. The added costs due to governmental regulations are increasing at a more rapid pace than any other costs associated with housing construction. Nationally, regulatory costs comprise 25% of a single family home sale price. The impact of local government regulation should be analyzed to identify changes that can be made to improve affordability. Moderately priced dwelling unit programs have been used for many years to address home affordability. One of the lessons learned is that programmatic requirements must be flexible in order to, for the program to be successful. Guidance on these topics should convey the general intent of the program while avoiding specific details. Details for implementation of any MPDU program should be thoroughly vetted to ensure the desired goals are achieved. We support the formation of an affordable housing board to further the goal of expanding affordable housing opportunities to current and future residents of the county. Programmatic goals and objection, objectives excuse me, should be developed by this board, working in conjunction with interested nonprofit organizations and private industry. Planned growth is essential to ensure the long-term viability of Charles County. An adequate number of new housing units are necessary to support environmental protection initiatives such as land preservation through the TDR program, affordable housing initiatives through an MPDU program, along with many other programs that benefit the general public. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bill Berry, followed by 